when you have a surgery of any kind, we obviously have to cut through all of the tissue layers and all of that, but also in those layers is nerves. And nerves can regenerate. It's really interesting. They can like find their way back together, regrow, and then re um, grow the like lining that is around them that allows them to transmit feelings basically. But it takes a lot of time. Nerves heal at a way slower rate than you like your skin. So over time, first they have to find their way back together, then they have to regenerate those connections, and then they'll start feeling, but they don't immediately start feeling normally. They start feeling, and sometimes it's a hypersensitivity or a low sensitivity. It's going to take up to a year to get um, really back to normal feeling around an incision. And I personally, like while my incisions were healing after my C-section, after the first few months, everything that touched them felt terrible. Like it, it was, it didn't hurt, but it was just like, like a, like when you, like a nail on a chalkboard, that was the feeling I got if like my, my t-shirt touched my incision or anything like that, because it's just, um, the nerves are still learning how to get back to their normal. Um, interestingly, uh, for some of you, I'll tell this quick story and then we'll get back to doing the things that we need to get back to. But um, I have, I don't know if you can see here, some of you who've been followers on other platforms will know this story already, but I have a um, scar here on my left ring finger because <laughs> I cut my digital nerve on that side trying to... <laughs> be not very smart with a knife when I couldn't get a underripe avocado pit out. And yeah, so I stabbed myself with the knife and this is actually a very common injury called avocado hand. I got fairly lucky because it didn't damage any tendons, which is much bigger deal. But I went to urgent care and the person taking care of me was like, oh, do you want to have me numb this up or do you want me to just put a stitch in it? And I said, like, it just needs one stitch, you know, numbing it up is, you know, you're gonna poke me for that. And then it will take time to get like, just, just put the stitch in. It's just two pokes and we'll be done. But when they did that, I was like, I'm a bit, um, needle phobic. Not anymore. I used to be truly needle phobic. I've kind of gotten over the phobia part, but I'm still a bit uncomfortable. So I didn't want to watch. And the guide, like, did it. And then he goes, okay, it's done. And I was like, I only felt one stick, like one poke with the needle. And he was like, oh, that's fine. And I was like, no, that doesn't seem right. If it's just, you know, a deep wound and it didn't cut anything, I should be able to feel both sticks. So then he said that uh, it would come back, like the feeling would come back in time, which is not true. You only have regeneration of the feeling in your nerves from an injury when it's a crush injury, not a sharp injury. So like if somebody gets their hand shut in a door and then they lose feeling in a certain nerve innervation point, that can come back over time because nothing has been severed. But when you have a sharp injury, if a nerve is severed, it's not going to come back over time. So I didn't think that he was right. So I called a friend after that who is a surgeon that does uh, things which would be related to this type of injury. And they said, absolutely not. If you don't have feeling, you should go get that seen. You probably need surgery. So what happened was you have two digital nerves that run up the side of the finger. I bet I can find a example. So in each finger, you have a, see these yellow ones? They're all digital nerves and you have a digital nerve on either side. So it, it, it innervates or gives you feeling to just one half of your finger. So when I said to my friend, I don't think that this is normal. And also, why did I only feel one side of that stick? The reason was because I had cut this nerve and so when he poked me on this side of, so if you imagine that here is the, can we, um, I also figured out a way that I can show y'all um, a drawing that I'm doing. So before the next stream, maybe, or um, at some point, I will get that set up where I can draw on my iPad and you can see, cause I do like to do a bit of drawing, but for today we'll do it here. So, 
imagine that this has been cut here. Okay, the, 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 the cut was not very, uh, I draw, but it's not very good. The cut was not very big, but it was deep and I knew it needed a stitch. So when they did the stitch and they have to poke twice to put one stitch in because you have to go in on one side and out on the other side, then they were going to put a stitch this way. Does that make sense? And then each place where there's little dots are right now, those would be the two places where you would poke. So when the needle goes in on this side, I feel that one and I was counting in my head, waiting for the second one to know that I was done. And then I didn't think that they were done because I didn't feel the second one. The reason I couldn't feel the one on this side is because that nerve had been severed. So I could feel anything this way from the nerve, but everything this way from the nerve would try to be transmitted. And the nerve was like, oh, I just hit a roadblock. I can't send this feeling anywhere. You can't feel that. And then I knew that something was wrong. So I did like test like this to feel where I could do any feeling. And this whole half of my finger passed the point where I had, um, had, had stabbed myself like an idiot was completely numb. So, but only to this half of my hand. So the numbness, because of the way that your nerves work and you have one on either side, the numbness that I had was restricted I had no feeling from the middle half of my finger over down to the place where I was, I had cut my digital nerve like an idiot. And that's how I knew something was wrong. So then I got an appointment with a plastic surgeon the next day because I had some uh, connections. Obviously, I worked in the same hospital as this person to get an exam done. And he did like all of the testing to see. And he's like, yeah, for sure. Your digital nerve has been severed. If you ever want to have feeling in the side of your finger again, then you should, um, you, you should have surgery. Someone asked, was the rest of your finger numb though? So that's the thing is because this is only one half, it actually, I, it, it was numb, but I didn't notice immediately because it was only one half. And there's also certain, uh, places that are more problematic. So where your fingers come together, the digital nerve on the side where you touch is more important to how you transmit feeling. Does this make sense? So wherever your thumb comes to this side is going to be more important to how you feel. So the surgeon actually said like, in a lot of people, we just wouldn't fix this one because it's not part of your tactile sensation in that it's not the side that comes to your thumb. And that's probably why I didn't notice. But because I also am a surgeon, I didn't want to have half of my hand be numb all the time if it could be fixed. It was amazing to me that they could fix it because nerves are so tiny, like floss or smaller. These nerves are teeny tiny. So they said, we can go in. Also, I was 20 weeks pregnant with Pax when this happened. Um, we can go in and make an incision and fix it. So what they did was go in and now I have on my hand a incision that looks like it's almost not visible anymore because it's healed but they made a z-shaped incision here because that's how you uh, get it to where you can bring it back together and went in used a microscope found the two sides of that nerve and sewed it back together with the smallest little suture anybody had ever seen in their whole entire life. All right, now, finally to the point of the story, which is because somebody had asked about the feeling of their C-section, the point is that after the surgery, what the hand surgeon told me was, nerves regenerate at a rate of one inch per month. So you should, from the place where the original injury was, regain your feeling in that half of your finger one month to here, second month to here, third month to the tip. 
uh sorry yeah my it's tiny so that is crazy right and it was true month one i finally got feeling back on this side month two i had feeling back on this section month three i could feel to the end of my finger again it was wild so all of that to say nerves take a long time to heal and then to begin learning how to transmit their um tactile sensations or whatever pain or whatever it is back to your brain takes time too so when you have a surgery particularly like a c-section those nerves may be way further apart than my digital nerve fingers like was and they have to find each other the reason that you don't just leave nerves of places that are really important like affecting your tactile sensation when you're a surgeon to just find each other is because they don't always do that so there is a chance that you will have some nerves that don't get back together but because there are so many nerves in the site of a c-section it would be unlikely to have all of them never find each other so they have to find each other and then they have to um they have to grow back together and then they have to regenerate their like protective coat and then learn to retransmit the signals so if that makes sense all right thank you all for hanging out through that discussion of my stupid injury regarding the avocado